Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be the finale to my fall project use it up I have all the products here in front of me and I am so excited to move into the winter project use it up which will go up next week so it will be up on December 1st look out for that go ahead and subscribe down below so you can be notified when I upload that one but this is the finale for the fall one I have a lot of products to get through so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna start off with everything that I finished the first thing that I finished in the fall project was the blackberries and basil shower gel. Um, this one I had continued over from summer, so here's the progress on that. Um, you can barely see that, but here's where it start. Well, it started at the beginning and then down here in a month, here in a month, and then here in a month, and then I finished it. So this is pretty good. I think it was a great transitional scent, and now that we're like fully in fall to winter, I'm done with that. I'm very glad to be done with it. I also finished up uh, the happy halloween vampire blood little minis i finished up the shower gel and the lotion this was totally fine it's just a strawberry scent nothing crazy um i liked it for the packaging but i really i don't think i would pick it up again next year i think it was just like a novelty item you know and then i also finished off the champagne apple and honey hand cream um i love their hand creams at bath and body works they're so good um and then champagne apple and honey is just a good scent to have so really really like that and that's it for what i finished up since the last time we checked in let's go ahead and get into the other stuff that i have some progress on so we'll start off with the hand lotions i have pumpkin cupcake which i have been getting some use out of it is maybe halfway done i'm probably going to keep using it um, but i'm really liking the scent now that it's it's like super super spicy it's perfect for right around thanksgiving so i've been really loving this and then we have sweet whiskey which i have really barely started using it's a really really great kind of classic scent it doesn't really have it's not like alarm not alarming it's not it's not like a crazy scent it kind of just smells like lotion with a touch of like masculinity kind of so i really like it it's nice and simple i have it on my bedside table and i've just been using it a little bit here and there it's still really full though next let's get into some body washes so the first one i have is the coconut and coffee scrub and body wash from ogx i do have some progress on this i'll go ahead and mark it for you guys I didn't use it too, too much because I really only use this if I like work out in the mornings and then I shower in the morning. Um, otherwise, I usually shower at night. So here's the progress I've made on that since it's been in the project. It started out, I think right here and then this in a month and then this in a month. So not too much progress. It's really, really big. Um, but I, like I said, I only use this in the morning. So I rarely use it that often, like maybe once a week, but it's such a good scent. I really really love it next on shower gels i have the white pumpkin and chai so i had this whole kind of set in here this is the set from last year but they did bring it out again this year um but i did get a lot of progress on this since last time so this is in the last month is the progress that i've done i really am enjoying this scent i don't think i'm gonna retire it for the winter because it's really really good and it's um it's a year old so i kind of do want to finish this off but i'm really loving this scent right right about now um, and then another shower gel that I was working on is pumpkin pecan waffles. This one is new for this year. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that. This is almost a little too strong for me, I'm going to be honest. Um, so this is the progress that I made in the last month. Not too much because I, it's honestly too strong. That's my opinion. It's so strong, but it definitely smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. So if you haven't already, you can pick this up at SAS probably, but uh it's not my favorite so that's it for shower gels let's get into moisturizers so the first thing i have is the white pumpkin and chai body cream which i started the project at 8.4 ounces and now i'm down to 4.9 ounces i measure this on like a male uh measuring scale that my mom has because she sends out packages a lot so if you're wondering what that is but yeah I'm at 4.9 ounces i think i'm going to try and finish this again because body creams go bad quick and yeah, I thought this was, um, this had expired, but it really hasn't. I think it was like just the initial little piece at the, the end of it had gotten kind of rotten since last year. So I just squeezed out that part and we're all good. So it still smells great. Really, really loving it. I enjoy the body creams, especially when it's cold outside. So I've been getting a lot of good use out of this one. I really love it. For body lotions, I have white pumpkin and chai first. I did get quite a bit of use out of it in the last month. So from here to here, really loving it. Again, this scent is like 
becoming my favorite for fall um, and I think I might try and finish this still unsure if I'm gonna keep it in for winter but really really been loving it and then another one that I've been kind of so so on is the pumpkin cupcake body lotion so this was an online exclusive everybody was super excited that this came out because they had been teasing it for a few years here is the progress that I made since last month on it not a lot because it's honestly not my favorite um, it's just so cloyingly spicy. It's like a little bit too much for me in my opinion. So yeah, um, but it's already starting to brown because it has like the vanilla in it. So not sure what I'm gonna do about this one, but I was using it. It's a good moisturizer, but it's not my favorite scent. And then I do have this one perfume that I put in the project, which is Victoria's Secret Tea's Heartbreaker. Um, let me go ahead and mark where my progress is. Also, my progress from the last couple of times has worn off, so we're going to mark those again too. But here we are. I started it off right at the top and then went down in a month and then down here in a month. So pretty consistent usage. I use this every single morning on my wrists and on my um, behind my ears. And yeah, I really love it. It's a great scent. Um, I think it's really pretty. It's like nice and floral fruity. Um, so it's not too overpowering, but yeah, pretty happy with my progress on that. I was just trying to see how much uh, perfume I could use if I consistently used it every single day. And now it's become routine to use this. So really proud of myself for that. Okay, let's get into some body mists. So I put in this many body mists, which was a bad idea because I don't use them that much. <laughs> Okay, let's start off with the ones that I'm kind of disappointed in because I didn't use them pretty much at all. The first one is Honey Wildflower, which is not my favorite scent, and I might be decluttering it. Um, it is a little too floral for me, but here's the progress that I made last month, that little bitty bit, and then I didn't use it at all this month. <laughs> Another one that I barely used is Twilight Woods in the Shimmer Mist, which I think it's fun and novelty to have this, but this is my progress from the last month, and then I didn't use it at all this month, so... Just goes to show you, the next one that I didn't really make a lot of progress on is the Happy Halloween Vampire Blood. Um, also Diamond Shimmer Mist. This is the progress that I made in this past month. So not a lot, not my favorite formula because it gets all over your clothes, but it's fun and novelty. So there's that. Um, some mist that I did get some good progress on. One is the Pink Velvet Cupcake, which I've had for... A year now since last fall and I've been trying to use it up over the past year you can see all of my markings one two uh, three four five six seven eight nine ten markings so ten months of using it and I only have this little bitty bit right here so I really want to try and finish this one um, I'll probably carry it over in the winter just to like get it out of my collection but it's one of my favorite scents ever such a beautiful sweet sparkly strawberry scent it just makes me feel so girly and pretty and I love the scent so much so that's that one next is vanilla mocha cafe I did use this a lot last month um, but I didn't make too too much progress here's my line last month and this month so just a little bit and it really sucks this packaging because you can't see where your perfume is at or where your mist is at so yeah but I really enjoy this scent a lot kind of year-round but it just reminds me of fall now because I used it last fall too, so it's like a really nice treat to myself to use every fall. Love, love, love that scent. Another one that I've been loving is, of course, White Pumpkin and Chai in the Mist, and this is my progress um, from the last month, so not bad. Used it a lot. Um, I really enjoy this scent. I kind of packed it with me to travel everywhere I went, so that's how you can tell that I really love something if I bring it with me to travel. So I really, really enjoyed this for the fall. It is such a nice, yummy pumpkin scent. So really, really loved that one. And the last mist that I have some progress on is Almond Blossom. I've had this in my project for a few times. Um, so there's lots of markings on the back of it, but this is what I progress that I made in the last month. About the same as all the other mists. I think I put too many in at once, so I was using too many. Um, I think for the winter I'm going to put in like four for the four weeks of December and try and use one 
throughout an entire week to see how much progress I can use if I use it seven days in a row. That's what I think I'm gonna test out in December for using up my um, winter scents. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, that's kind of the plan for the winter. And then the last thing that I had in the project, which was a new addition for the fall, is body scrubs. So the first one I have is Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk, which I'm pretty much almost done. You can see the bottom on it. Sorry, it's super, super bright and white casty, but yeah, I definitely use a lot of it. I probably have like four more uses out of it and then it'll be done. So probably will keep this in for the winter, just putting it out there. But yeah, I really love this. It's like a nice everyday kind of body scrub where it's not too like harsh and rough. Speaking of harsh and rough, this one is, um, this is from Onyx Bathhouse Stay Toasty Foaming Body Scrub in Toasted Marshmallow. I love this scent. It smells so, so, so good. Mm. I am down to the red now. And when I started, it was completely unused. So I did get quite a bit of progress on this. I got about halfway through really happy about that. This is definitely a body scrub I use right before I shave my legs. Um, this is like a go deep body scrub. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something that's super coarse and thick. This is this is your gal, but uh, I can only use this maybe once or twice a week. So that's why I don't have too much progress on it, but still happy that I made some. So that's everything for the fall project. Use it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am a little disappointed because I didn't finish off as many things as I wanted to throughout the fall, but that's okay. I got some use out of things and then I kind of learned, hopefully I can apply what I learned in the winter project and kind of adjust going from there. But yeah, that's everything for this video. The winter project, use it up introduction will be out next week on December 1st. So mark your calendars. I'm super excited for the December project. Use it up. I really um, just want to get started on some winter scents. So that's everything from me. Let me know down below. What was your like signature scent this fall? I think mine was definitely white pumpkin and chai. I fell in love with the scent. I didn't actually like it that much last year, but I loved it this year. So let me know down below. I'm really curious what your fall scent was um, for this fall. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.